Kind of a little rhythm thing. Welcome back, everybody. I'm just kind of messing around here. I think today, you know, um, here today, uh, we'll work on maybe some, like some, just some little finger exercises, real simple stuff. They're not necessarily, excuse me, <coughs> they're not necessarily um, fills or anything, but they can be used as the, or padding, which um, padding uh, means when you're um, laying back, just, ha just adding support to what's going on without really being out in front. It's just kind of a, like, like for instance, this is a neat one. I'm in the G position again, open. And what, and just to, for you to hear it, it, it does like this. And what that does, it's like a, it, it adds a rhythm to, to, to whatever's going on in whatever situation it calls for. So what I'm doing there is, uh, again, in the gene possession, uh, it's kind of a bounce thing. And the grouping is, uh, on the head of it, is uh, your your uh, sixth, eighth, and tenth string, and what I'm doing is I'm I'm, I'm plugging the I'm hitting the the tenth string first, like that, and then the the, eight, the sixth and the eighth. And the second time I do it, I have my um, my B pedal pushed, but I'm plucking the the um, I'm picking the the, the low ten string twice right before I hit it. So it's. And that is my fifth and my seventh string. So it's. And then I just go, go in, in backwards. I go back like a. That's the whole movement. And I know Mark, you can you can uh, go down on my hand here to help him out too. This is such a wonderful thing. I got all these angles going, so it, hopefully that's really helping you in watching this. One more time on the first part, it will be. And then you just I'm sliding back, and I'm not saying that that's where the song's going. This is just a nice little little feel to have that you can work with your bar as well. So it's. I'm sorry. <laughs> And I'm just going to my F fret, same thing. And back up. So what that can be and try to develop it, it's just good, good coordination for your right hand and good, you know, for your left hand as well. And you're doing something with your foot. So in time, if you can get it like you can you can get it to you can even do the move like that, sliding back and forth on your 10th string. You see how my hand is kind of bouncing, that it, 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 it just creates that rhythm and, and it becomes all one motion. Okay, that'll be a fun one to work on. Now, one that's really easy, actually, and you don't even really have to bar uh, to use the bar. I suggest you do because anytime you can use the bar, it's just more holding onto the bar. So we'll we'll just do this one to change the pitch a little bit. Let's just go up to A, A position, and all I'm doing here is I'm going to start on the eighth string, and I'm going to go all the way up to the G sharp, playing in in three notes at a time, like a, or not at the same time, but in sequence, like. Going up one every time, so it'd be it'd be eighth seven six seven six five. Okay, got my drift six five four five four three. So that's and then what you want to do once you reach the top is go back the other way. So it'd be see I can't even do it. That, that's the gist of it. When you're going back, it's just the other way. If you're at the, when you're at the top and you finish, then go down to your fifth, fourth and third, and so on. Okay, so that's. 
Now staying in the same position, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use the same strings up and back just like that, but what we're gonna do here is we're gonna, instead of starting on the eighth string, we're gonna start on the sixth and the, it'll be a backward roll with the same idea, climbing one string at a time at the top and coming back. So it's a little different, it'll be like this. See, that's how I'm doing that. And that just, again, it just develops coordination. You have your front roll and you have your back roll. So those kind of things are just really nice to practice. Like I say, you don't have to use the bar. I'm not using the pedals. It's just a finger exercise. Or, okay? And hopefully that'll help you there. Now, one kind of fun thing I want to show you really quick. This is kind of neat, and this, I do this sometimes just for fun, but it's a nice little exercise, and it can be used in kind of a cool little fill, depending on, again, the song and where it's required. So what I'm doing here is I'm, uh, I'm, I'm both pedals down, and what I'm doing is I'm, I'm pushing my, I'm lowering my E's, real simple. So what I'm doing is, um, actually, uh, let's see. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually pull off of my, we're just gonna apply our B pedal and, a, and lower our E's. And so what I'm doing, I'm starting on the eighth string here and I'm going up one string at a time, okay? And as far as you wanna go, you can go up. If you don't wanna go up, but two or three strings, that's fine. But the idea is to come back as well. And what I'm doing, every time I, I hit the string, I'm lifting the bar and bringing it back down. So I have th uh, three notes. Okay, so it's, I go to the next string. Just a nice little kind of a cool thing. Just like. So it's. So you can go clear to the G sharp. And it's just fun to do. And you can do it with both pedals down. It gives a little different sound. Start at the top. That's a C7, actually, is what we're playing here. So your C pedal's down, or... And what I'm doing there, I'm hitting, I'm grouping two strings at a time instead of one. I'm hitting two strings together, starting at the bottom or the top. Choose to start at the top, I'm using the third and the fourth together. Then the next one will be the fourth and fifth, fifth and sixth, sixth and seventh, and so on. Down to your eighth, and to, then hit your tenth note if you want at the end. So it'd be like... See, I'm doing that? I, I'm actually starting with my two pointer fingers. And I'm going right to my thumb and first finger. But those are nice little things to work on. Or the... Man, I hope you had fun today. Um, listen, there'll be more of that. And like I say, anytime you, you, you want to ask a question or need to know something, whether it be about the guitar, if I'm moving too fast for individuals, or something you want me to show you, if there's a particular lick, if I can do it, I'll try to figure it out. I just want to help you. If it's about gear, whatever it's about. Speaking of gear, I've been playing steel guitar for a little over 50 years now. Had a lot of guitars and a lot of good ones, but I gotta say, and this is, I'm not blowing it up, you know, I'm not blowing the smoke here. This is the best guitar I've ever owned, the Mullen Steel Guitar. So, have a nice day, everybody. Thanks a lot.